What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today continues the gauntlet series for the biodynamic uh, Freebirds. Um, today, they're going up against the Bangin' Olsen B.O. Play EX. This should be another one of those interesting uh, head-to-heads. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're back in. We got the biodynamic Freebirds, the B.O. Play EXs. Let's get to it. All right, first, let's talk price. The BOP EX comes in at $399, where the uh, Freebirds uh, will come in at $249. Okay, so uh, next, um, I lost my train of thought there for a second. All right, I'm back. All right, this should be a very uh, interesting uh, head to head between these two. So let's keep it moving. Next up, we're going to talk specs. We've got, as far as Bluetooth versions, both are supporting or rocking rather Bluetooth 5.2. Um, as far as the uh, codec, they both support SBC, AAC, and APTX adaptive. Um, they both have uh, versions of noise canceling, active active noise canceling. The BO Play EXs have what they call adaptive ANC, where the Freebirds have uh, just a just listed as no active noise canceling plus transparency mode. Now, full disclosure, just about every one of the earbuds I have have the transparency mode. They might not call it transparency. They may call it ambient but, or something of that nature, but they most mostly have that same thing. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and talk battery life. <coughs> Excuse me. For the battery life for the BioPlay EX. You can get up to six hours on the earbuds with ANC on, up to eight hours with ANC off, and you can add up to 20 hours with the case included. So that means you probably get one or two, you probably get two charges uh, from the case if your, your earbuds are completely drained out. And of course, they don't take into consideration volume level at all either. So also, the case supports wireless charging. It does also have a uh, quick charge where you get 20 minutes of charge would give you about 1.75 hours or an hour 45 minutes of playback time. As we um, go ahead and switch over to the Freebirds, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as battery life, they have 11 hours on the earbuds alone, which is fantastic. I think that's the most of any earbud that I do have. Uh, of course, you can get an additional third, up to 30 hours with the case. Again, you got to take in consideration having ANC on, uh, you know, your volume levels. Those play uh, big roles when it comes to uh, battery power, battery life rather. Uh, of course, the case, yes, does support wireless charging. And it also supports quick charge where... 10 minutes will give you up to 70 minutes of playback time. All right, now as we talk about the earbuds themselves, let's go ahead and crack these open so we can get a good look at them. Okay. The As far as the BO Play EX, they are vibrated at IP57 waterproof, not resistant, but water, dust and waterproof, where the... Uh, Freebirds are rated at IPX4, all right? Both, <clears throat> excuse me, BO Play EX supports fast pairing, whereas uh, the Freebirds do not. At least it's not noted, And but I've never had, like I said, I've never had a problem pairing these uh, immediately to any device that I have, but they don't, they don't label, they don't list uh uh, fast pairing as a feature. So I'm gonna go with no based on that. But if anyone finds me finds out anything different, please leave a comment in this in the uh, comment section below that way. And at least a link to where you got it to it, uh, got it from as well. So I can go ahead and follow up on that research and make my corrections accordingly. All right. Now, as far as multi-point pairing, the BO Play EX does support multi-point pairing, whereas <clears throat> excuse me, whereas the Freebirds do not, but they do have what they call a uh, handoff feature or, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, a handoff uh, feature 
or where basically if as long as both apps that, you know, both devices have paired to the earbuds at some point in time, you can switch, uh, from that device, from one device to the other, rather, uh, it's just, you got to take the extra step of going into your Bluetooth settings and, uh, turn it in and turning on your connection to the uh, earbuds, which it's not multi-point pairing at all, but it gives you that extra, uh, it's an extra step you have to take in order to switch between devices. <clears throat> okay. So of course, obviously both are app supported. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take one of each out. We're going to do a little comparison of them. Obviously they are of two totally different form factors. You have your classic bud style earbud, uh, with the, with the free birds and you have your pencil style with the bo play ex um as you can see two totally different formats uh form factors rather going at it as we take a look at the ex's first i love the uh elegance of it um like i said i wasn't um big fan of the pencil style earbuds until i got into started using the sound core earbuds and then of course one more has some pencil style earbuds i just you know so they 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 won me over i have no problem uh purchasing uh pencil style earbuds now but um i didn't in the past so i digress all right so back to back to the to the earbud here uh like i said i love the elegant they got the glass uh touchpad with the uh with the silver uh, detailing trim around it, being no logo in the center. Um, uh, you can see they have the ergonomic, uh, let me put it that way so you can see it. You got their ergonomic curve here. This fills up the, sits in the ear well, whereas your ear tip, your ear tip goes into the ear. Obviously you have to make sure you have the correct ear tip on any earbud, uh, that helps out with, um, uh, uh, noise canceling as well as sound. All right, you got the nice long stem uh, with your boom. I call it a boom arm because your mic uh, for talking on the for phone calls is here on the end. Of course, you can see that noise canceling air uh, microphone there as well. Um, it's a very clean, a very clean look, clean but elegant, clean but elegant is what I call this. Uh, simplistic in nature, not a lot of uh, frills to it. All right, and everything you got your wear sensor here on the inside. Uh, so very another uh, noise canceling mic here. So it's it's very uh, it's a very clean look, clean design um, uh, from uh, Bang and Olives in here. I do like it. Um, it's a I do I just like it a lot. Uh, but I'll go into my other thoughts about this one later. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the new kid on the block, the Freebirds. Um, as you can see, almost like a classic style, but there's a twist to these. Uh, you've got two layers. You've got your lower layer. This is the part that sits in your ear. This portion here, because you, you've ergonomically fit along with the ear tip. Uh, this part fits the ear well, while this second top, this top layer, it protrudes out a little bit. And then of course you see you have your Air, your touch pad right here where the Y is, the logo is, and as you notice, it is raised a little bit. So that way you definitely know uh, when you're tapping it or, you know, a little muscle memory, you'll know exactly where it is. All right, of course, it looks like a bigger air butt, but yet it's not heavy. So, uh, which is a good thing because usually you get these bigger air buds and the, with the weight of them, you would wind up getting air fatigue and um, things of nature. You get like some kind of like your ear get itchy and, you know, you start getting a little sore uh, because you had these in for a long time, long periods of time. I've had these uh, in my ear all during my work day and I never had ran into that problem. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these in. And yeah, they feel just, they feel real good in the ear. Let me grab my phone. 
We'll pull up pictures of them in the air. That way you can see what they look like. Here's a picture of the BO Play EX in your in the ear. It does it doesn't take up the whole ear well with the uh, ergonomic uh, backing of it, but it does sit in rather comfortably. And as you can tell, with the boom arm going straight towards your mouth. That's a perfect angle for it. And with the comply phone tips, which I, 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 I recommend for myself, uh, I get, a, I get a good seal. Um, but it, it's just a, uh, a nice air, a nice feeling earbud in the ear. Um, you can wear, like I said, of course you can wear both of these all day, like I said before, but it just feels very good there. All right, let me go ahead and pull up the, uh, Free birds here, so you can take a look at them in the air. Give me one second. All right, and here are the free birds in the air. As you can see, it takes up the whole ear well, fills in perfectly. Uh, your touchpad is here, but you know it's you cannot um, not you can not be confused with it being. Uh, the rest of the ear tip there, the earbud there, because of how it's raised just slightly, which is a great idea. Um, just another another comfortable fit uh, with the comply phone tips that it comes with. Uh, just a great feeling earbud there, and I really, I really, really do like these. All right, so what we're gonna do next is, whoops, almost dropped my phone there. We're gonna go ahead and. We want to get these guys paired up and then we're going to um, take a look at their apps, see what they have offering. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. As you can see, we've got the uh, BO Play EX earbuds all paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. Okay. In. All right, we'll go ahead and select the EXs. All right, and as you can see, you have, let me get a little closer here. Okay, uh, you got the uh, name of your earbuds, the case and a picture of the case and your earbuds. Of course, then you have the battery levels of all three things, left, right earbud and the case, all right? Moving down, you have your surroundings, Basically, you have noise canceling, transparency mode, and neutral mode. Uh, with transparency mode and active noise canceling, you do have the slider here where you can slide the strength up to three or back to one, depending on how strong you want either of those features to be. But if you're going into noise canceling, you will notice you have the adaptive ANC feature here which will allow you, if you turn that on, uh, of course the, the slider goes away. And what happens is, is that it dictates exactly how strong your active noise canceling is based on uh, your location. Now, full disclosure, um, the transparency on the, excuse me, the noise canceling on the, on the EX is not good. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't, say that it is because it's not, it feels like it's stuck into a transparency mode, but hopefully with an update, they can go ahead and fix that. All right, moving forward, you have your listening modes. These are basically uh, presets that they do have. Let's go ahead and hit the three, dot, the three dashes here. Okay, you have optimal mode, you have podcast, commute. Also, you have clear and sport. Those are your pre the factory presets that are already available to you. I have two different presets here. I have my favorite set as to which gives me the best sound uh, from these earbuds. Then I also have test, which is what we're going to put it in, um, be, you know, for the uh, hearing test for the sound test rather on here. So let's back up real quick. Actually, you know what? No, 
let's go back in here. See, with these, you can turn in this section, you can switch out which air, which ones you want to use, which ones you want, or how you want them set up as far as uh, when they come up onto the main page there. Uh, the only one you cannot change is the optimal one. That one is, uh, is set in. It, you cannot move it. You cannot delete. You cannot take it out of the list. It is right. It's the one that's right there. So right now, as you can see, I just changed them all around to sport clear. And I got my two sets uh, rounding it out. So let's back up. And as you can see, they changed here on the uh, main page. But except for the sixth one, this is the actual, uh, their, their equalizer, if you will. It's not a graphic equalizer, but let's go ahead and press on it. Right now, it is set to my setting, which is uh, more on a high base, but more on the warm side than the energetic side. Um, so you, of course you can go ahead and move however you want it. I like the fact that the, 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 uh, color changes depending on the four corners you go to, you know, but they, all the inside ones, you know, you can move anywhere you like. And we'll just go back in, but right now. We're going to pick test and double tap on that. See test puts the dial right in the middle. So there is no, uh, EQ, uh, help when we go into the sound test. So we're going to leave that one right there. All right, moving down. All right. You got the personal settings where you can hit, you hit on that. You can set it for your own, for own voice, which basically, uh, tells when you're calling, you're talking to someone on the phone, it, it pushes your for your voice forward. Um, uh, much better than having, um, so that way you're, you're, you're a little bit, you're more clear in the uh, background sound or your, you know, or your ambient sound is, uh, dialed down. So like you're, if you're in, uh, a, a crowded location and you have your own voice, you, you will sound your, your voice will come through much louder than the background noise. So that's what that's set to. You can also set it to just noise canceling or you can have it neutral. Um, right now I like to have it at own voice because I want my voice to, um, stand out when it comes to uh, phone calls like that and everything. All right. And of course, same thing as with, uh, noise canceling, you've got the slider where you can dial down the strength or dial it up. However you like, <coughs> excuse me. All right. So moving on, of course, you've got your automatic standby. I had that turned on. So basically if your earbuds are inactive for 15 minutes, uh, it will turn off the earbuds automatically. And of course, uh, you have to put them in your ear and tap on them to turn them on and, and stuff like that. And that way they will reactivate and reconnect and, uh, you can push on. All right. If you notice at the bottom, you do have a play and skip track ver uh, icons there. This is your, your player, your audio player here. While you're in the app, you can play music or pause it, or you can skip to the next track. You do not have a previous track vert option in here. Hopefully with an update for the app, they will uh, give you that uh, feature, but that's very good to have. And you don't really see that um, when it comes to other uh, apps. I mean, you may see, I'm going to back up. You'll see it, but you don't see it where it's at the bottom uh, and it's, it's stuck there. And whoop, I got a bug here. I'm gonna take care of him later. All right, and where you have the there, and it's, it goes through the entire app with you. All right, so as you you'll notice this, it will still be there uh, when I go through the other pages. Okay, so if you look up here at the top, you see you got three dashes here. Let's go ahead and jump in there. You have your Bluetooth pairing. Um, basically, uh, if you have, uh, let me go ahead and tap in there. All right, so you can go ahead and basically repair like a new, a different set of earbuds uh, or new other Bluetooth device. You can go ahead in here and quickly do the, the pairing process. Let's dip down here. You got your product settings. Dip in here. You can got your net. You can replace your case if you need to repair a, a case for your earbuds to the app. You can do it there. You have you know where you can change the name of the earbuds. 
software is for a software update. We are up to date there. And of course at the bottom it tells you early releases. So you can go back and check out the change log. And of course you got the product color that basically you can tell it, you just tell it exactly what color you have. I have the, what they call the black anthracite. They have a anthracite oxygen, which is the, with the blue accent color. And then of course they have the gold tone, which is uh, self explain all gold self explanatory. All right. So that's what that is. And then of course you got about, which would take you to the webpage where you can learn all about blue, uh, being an all of a sudden in your products. All right. So moving on, we go to the next page. This is the multi room. Now this, uh, portion here, uh, it doesn't, the EX doesn't, uh, support this item. It's not supported in here, but this is more like if you have like a home theater system or uh, Bluetooth speakers that you want to be able to control, you will have them in here, uh, and you can control them from within this, uh, this portion of the app. Okay. So moving on, this is the uh, music side where you can get into Deezer. Basically these are just streaming, uh, uh streaming sites or streaming, uh, apps, 73 million tracks. Uh, you can go ahead and try it for free or you can sign in and you can pick, you can sign into whichever, uh, well, I didn't even in Deezer. This is for Deezer itself. Uh, but there is another one we'll show you soon in a minute here where you will have access to other ones. So this is just Deezer's music streaming site. I guess they, uh, partner with, uh, Bang Olsen to bring you that, um, that system there. So we go up, let me see, what's this? Okay. There it is. Okay. So if you tap on that gear, I thought I was missing something. Tap on that gear there. You can then go ahead and select which one, which, uh, music streaming service you want to, uh, connect to Deezer, DLNA, Spotify. And then of course you got your customization, uh, feature there as well. All right. So then move on to the next one in the bottom there, you have your rate, your radio. So you have your banging all of a radio. Then you also have tune in, which is a stream, also another streaming radio service. And it's basically, um, they'll give you the radio stations in your local area. Or if you want something else, say for instance, you're from, you want, you were from Chicago, you want to hear what's going on in Chicago radio stations. Uh, you can type, if you know that radio station, you can type it into the search and it can pull it up for you. And then you can go ahead and tune in there. Same thing with tune in. Um, you can do that. And all of them, they both give you both AM and FM, uh, radio stations. Okay. Then of course, down here, if you want to explore regular, uh, location, ex ah, if you want to explore, explore radio stations, you can do it for our language, location, and genre. Um, it's very intuitive, uh, program there. And it's a good option to have in your app. Okay. Well, now, let me make sure I'm make sure I'm just double checking. I didn't want to forget anything. Nope. That's it. All right. So that's the walkthrough of the, uh, BO play, the banging all of a sudden app for the BO play EX. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and swap these out. We're going to get the free birds paired up and we're going to take a stroll through their app. So stay strapped in. All right. We're back in, as you can see, we've got the, uh, free birds all paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. Now their app is called the my app M A I Y, which is means make it your own, uh, as an acronym for that. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right. We're connected. Okay. So now we're in, I love the fact that they went with a black theme. Uh, you've got the battery level of each earbud. You got a picture of your earbuds. And of course you have, and then of, you have the disconnect headphone, uh, icon or option here. Now moving down, you have your ANC modes. You have, uh, on off and transparency or transparent. You could turn either one of all. We're going to leave ANC on. And of course, moving down, you've got low latency. This is for gaming. If you game on your tablet or on your phone, uh, if you want that, uh, low latency, you can go ahead and hit on. I leave it off because I don't game on my phone or my tablet. Uh, so I leave it off. So that way I'm using it mainly for all, uh, for video content and things of that nature. All right. So moving forward, moving, moving on rather, you got your sound profile. You go and hit settings here. What happens is, is you would, 
it, you put the earbuds in, you run through a, uh, a test and then you will, um, then have your own sound profile. Uh, give me a second. I want to show you exactly what mine's look like. Uh, let me go ahead and log in. Give me just a moment here. I don't remember my password, so I have to go find it. There it is. Give me just a moment here. I'm logging in just so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so when you do the uh, sound setting, when you run it through the uh, sound profile, I have it turned on. You can turn it all the way up or turn it all the way down. You got, they already got your profile set. You can do for a softer tone. You can do recommended and then you can do a richer tone. I'll leave it at recommended on this one. And then of course, you know, you could play a sound sample um, of your, uh, of your, uh, profile based on like, if you want it on a rich or if you want it, uh, softer. So you can go, definitely go ahead and do that. And like I said, you can turn it up and down as you wish. And then that's basically, I just wanted to let you guys see what it looked like after you did the, uh, sound, um, profile testing, see what the actual screen looks like. All right. So. Moving on from there, you've got your configurations. And then you've got a uh, personal assistant set to default. All right, you've got that. You can either default basically um, is whatever your phone is. I have Google, so Google Assistant is my default. If you're using these with an iPhone, you obviously Siri would be default. You can also disable it or you can Go ahead and select to use Amazon Alexa as your uh, Google as your assistant, not Google, but your personal assistant. So you do have those options there. All right. Then of course you got voice prompts. I have mine set to English. You only have English and German as your options here. Uh, you got an equalizer. Let's go ahead and tap into there. Now in here, this is not an actual equalizer There are more presets. You cannot, it's not a graphic one where you can go ahead and change the dial change the sliders to however you want to, um, however you want the sound to be, but they do offer bass boost warm. As you can see, I'm changing, everything's turning. I can't make any adjustments up here. As you can see, uh, you got smooth treble V shape, which is more of my kind of, uh, my preferred setting. And then you have speech. And of course, then you have brilliant, which I believe is uh, like a dynamic almost. I don't know, but I like, uh, the v-shaped one but for the sake because we're doing a sound test we're gonna leave it at original where everything is just flat out just flat even all right but like i said they do not have a graphic one but these guys come pretty close to what you're looking for um for some people i'm not gonna say it's got everybody's uh favorite uh oh, it's like every, it's like uh had a little problem here let me reconnect Probably because I had them out too long. Let me go ahead and reconnect these back. But anyway, like I was saying, while I do this, um, they would have, you know, they have that uh, type of. Uh, I wish they would have that type of equalizer where you can go in and change it. But it could, like I said, it's not going to be for everyone, but it could be for some. All right, so. All right, so we're back in. Um, of course, then you got your factory reset. Sorry about that little disconnect. I probably had them out of the ear uh, case too long without being in my ear. All right, so then you got the reset there. Um, you can go ahead and start and basically factory reset your earbuds. Then of course, underneath that, you got your all your information for the earbuds uh, as far as version number, uh, Bluetooth address, so on and so forth, the name of the device. And then of course you got your stats for each earbud, uh, how long you use them. Like, you know, basically it's like, I have independent, I use them. I like the fact they're independent. I can use one or the other. So I'm usually at work. I usually have either the left or right one in 
as you can tell by my numbers, uh, it's more the left than the right. Um, but I do get plenty of time out of having either one in. So this is a good thing if you want to keep track of that type of information. All right. So now, if you notice at the bottom here, you we're in the center where it says free birds, where the headphones is, we got to go to the left. This takes you into the information page where you can go out to the website and shop. You can access, you know, connect, you know, follow them on Facebook, contact them uh, for customer service. You got your frequently asked questions note, uh, knowledge base where you can go in and see uh, if you're having problems, if someone else has also had that question and it's already been answered, you can go in there. You got your privacy policy. And then of course you got your imprint. Um, and if you move over to the far right, this will, this is uh, your, basically your ledger, your uh, instructions on what to do and how to access uh, your uh, touch controls. None of these can be changed. You cannot switch these out. These are all set to how they're supposed to, how they're going to, how to, how they're going to work regardless. So you got your tap once on the right for uh, start and stop playback. Also tap once for answering phone calls, reject a call is a tap and hold on the right. Choose a voice assistant is a tap and hold to act like voice assistant when you're not on the call. Decrease volume is tap left twice. Tap left and hold twice for a second to decrease volume. Tap right twice and hold for the second. Uh, hold what after the second tap uh, to decrease to increase on the left on the right. So then of course you got next track is tap three times on the right. Previous track is tap three times on the left and C is, is tap twice to switch between active noise canceling and transparency. So um, it's good that they have this right here. So it's easy to access on the website or excuse me on the app. Just in case you get confused, just open up the app and go in and you can see exactly how you want to do it until muscle memory uh, kicks in and you automatically remember. All right. So basically this is it for uh, a walkthrough of the MIY air, uh, app for the Barodynamic bio, bio, uh, Freebird earbuds. Uh, what's going on next is a mic test for these two earbuds. So stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Bang Olufsen Bio Play EXs in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bang Olufsen Bio Play EXs in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bang & Olufsen Bio Play EX in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bang & Olufsen Bio Play EX in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bear Dynamic Freebirds in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bear Dynamic Freebirds in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bear Dynamic Freebirds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bear Dynamic Freebirds in a crowded location. Got the uh, BO Play EXs already paired up. We got them in the air. So let's go ahead and do our sound test. We'll go ahead and grab us some songs. Signing in on my, my smart monitor here. Bear with me a second. All right, we're good there. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, we'll do private eyes. I like the instrumental on this. We're at 100%. All right, let's go. Okay. Again, good overall volume. It gets very loud. However, we'll take a look just to make sure we're in uh, test mode for the EQ. All right, as you can see, we're in test mode. Let's tap on that. No EQ settings. All 
very uh vocal forward, treble forward. The bass is definitely recessed. But you, but you get great uh, vocal sound. Uh, separation is good. Um, it's just you, the vocals and the treble are pushed way up, where the bass is pushed way down. Um, let's go into like a bass heavy song. Um, so we're gonna come back to this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, now we wanna go in and do. Godzilla, so this is a bass heavy song. Again, we're at max volume. Let's go. Again, again, vocals are pushed forward, trebles pushed forward, mid, and the bass is pushed way back. But the vocals are crystal, they're crystal. I can hear every verse, every vocal, every word that Eminem is saying in this. All right, let's see it in some chorus. Very clean vocals, very clean. Sound separation is great. Okay, again, that's a that's a bass heavy song, but you can definitely tell that the bass is pushed way back naturally. Um, I know, excuse me, and I know that if you use your own EQ, like I like a lot, I like bass, and I would definitely, and even uh, with bass turned on, and the way I like it, it it just still um. The vocals are way high, and the treble and the mids are way high, and is the vocal the bass is recessed so far back that even if you put it on heavy bass, you still feel like you need more bass out of it. But hopefully, with an update, they'll go ahead and fix that. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the free birds and have them run through the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. As you can see, we got the free birds all paired up. And just to make sure we are on the up and up, we're gonna go ahead into the app, make sure that our uh, equalizer settings are set to original, it says original. So let's go ahead and tap on that to make sure. As you can see, all even, all zeroed out. So we're good there. And let's go into my settings. As you can see, I have it all turned down. So that way, not even my sound profile. Actually, you know what? We're going to turn off the sound profile. How about that? We'll make it even better. We'll turn that off for now. And then let's go ahead and get into some music. We got Hall of Notes. We're going to go way back to the beginning. And we're going to, we're at 100%. We're at max volume. So let's go. Whoops. Oops, I think I'm connected to, oh, didn't have them active. All right, that was my bad. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, very balanced sound. Bass, sound, musical, instrumental separation is good. Didn't get as, doesn't get overall as loud as the EXs. Vocals are good, nice and clear. Very clean sound. Very clean sound. Okay, uh, again, 
very clean sound, um, balanced sound. The uh, as far as the vocals, very crisp, uh, very clear. Um, and as uh, as far as um, um, sound musical separation, it was definitely there. You could tell. You can um, as I would. It's it's not as spacious as uh, of a sound. Not as like uh, as wide spacious sound. Like as far as hearing something on this ear and then hearing something in this ear. Uh, I didn't get that on on these ones, but the balance on it is is phenomenal. It's it's, it's just a great sound overall. Uh, I like the fact that nothing was uh, recessed. Everything was balanced and up front, and and it maintained the sound separation and the clear vocals. Uh, didn't get over, didn't get as loud as the EXs uh, in that genre. The EX definitely an overall volume. The EX has has this one uh, beat um, so far. So uh, let's go ahead and um, switch up uh, songs. We're going to go ahead and jump into Godzilla. All right, here we go. Max volume. Again, the bass is hitting you on this right from the beginning. The vocals are very clear. Very clear vocals. I can hear every word he's saying. The rumble of the bass is extraordinary. All right, let's hear some chords. Very clean vocals. Very clean vocals. It's just a great sound, and the bass gets you from the beginning on this one. Um, just two, uh, just great sound, just great sound all around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. So stay strapped in, man. All right, we're back in with my final thoughts, and. Let me go through. Let like, first of all, let's 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 uh walk through um everything on e on each of these guys. Let's go uh, starting from the beginning. As far as um, price, the Freebirds obviously the more least expensive uh, earbud. They both uh, as far as specs goes, um, Kodak Bluetooth point five point two, app A and C although. Again, I will give it to the Freebirds for the, as far as noise canceling. The Beoplay EX, they need to do something with the, a, the ANC on this. It's it's like it's stuck in transparency mode, and you really because you really can't tell the difference between transparency mode and noise canceling. Um, no matter how you slice it, they really need to uh, do an up, a firmware update to get that at least that get that corrected. And maybe with the noise canceling, that will then filter down and help everything else out. Um, as far as battery life, again, the uh, Freebirds win that one. Um, Eleven hours on the earbud is 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 fantastic. That even beats my Sony's, which was my top dog, as far as uh, battery life on the earbuds up until now. So that's definitely a big win for them. Uh, quick charge. Uh, I, I call that well. You get ten minutes. We'll get you up to an hour, a little over an hour on that on the free on the free the free bird. Whereas twenty minutes would get you almost two hours on uh, the EXs. So I'm gonna call that even. Um, yeah, I, I would just call it even on that one, uh, just because I just I just will. And of course, they both do wireless charging. As far as war resistance, that will go to the EX. Dust and water proof, not water resistant at IP57. Uh, fast pairing, again, goes to the EX. Multi-point pairing, 
again goes to the EX and now um, uh, we go into uh, the thing that we came for and that's the sound who sounds the best who sounds best uh, between the two of these guys and I'm the potential is there for the EX but I'm gonna have to go with the free birds on this they have a more balanced sound naturally with no EQ again no EQ settings uh, they both have their different variations of an EQ. These guys have more of a pre uh, preset um, options, whereas the EX has uh, their version of an EQ. Uh, but even just the balanced sound and the warm bass uh, goes to the, I, I have to give it to the Freebirds. The EX has better has better overall volume. They get louder overall. Uh, they have, uh, if you're talking about vocals and treble and mid, they have that. They have the the Freebirds beat on that aspect. However, the bass is just recessed. I, I can't get over the fact that the bass is so naturally, naturally, okay? I get, you know, people say that, the EXs are better. Everybody's hearing is different. Mine is, you know, I like I like that balance sound even on a natural one. Now, granted, I've even have these set on high bass, uh, skewing towards warm. Uh, as you saw in my e, my preferred EQ settings, and even then, the bass is subpar. When it comes to these, but the potential is there. That's why I keep re listening to these. I keep these in my rotation because I really like these. I really see the potential in them. Um, I think they're just an update away from being fantastic, completely fantastic in my opinion. Um, and also the ANC uh, also, uh, I think, like I said, would also help, could possibly help on those, those fronts, but they definitely need to, uh, if they don't take care of the uh, natural sound of these earbuds, then they need to definitely take care of the noise canceling on these. All right, so now going back to the uh, Freebirds, like I said, they don't get as loud overall, as loud as the EQ, EXs, excuse me, but they have that balanced, warm sound, like the bass hits you. Uh, like in that Godzilla song, it just hits you from the start to when I stop. And... Although the vocals are better on the EX, uh, they still have clear sound, clear vocals. You can still hear every word in the rap song, but it's not as sharp as, or not as crisp as on the EXs. But with that overall uh, sound and everything, and the, the, the instrumental separation and all that stuff, uh, I definitely have to give it to uh, the Freebirds. Um, although the EXs have the features that I like, mainly uh, multi-point pairing. I really do like that. Um, I But I would definitely pit these over the EXs if I had to uh, pick an earbud to use. Um, if I only had these to choose, the choice of these two, I would go with the, the Freebirds. All right, so with that being said, that's it. For this version of the Gauntlet series, so if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to uh, subscribe and join the team, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell uh, so you'll be notified when all my new uh, videos come out. I still got a couple more uh, uh, contestants for the Freebirds in this Gauntlet series. And then, of course, I have other videos coming up, so just stay tuned in to your boy. I appreciate you guys coming out to uh, see to highlight me, see what I'm up to. Oh, also, you can hit me up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ron on Tech. Uh, so I will put notifications out there when videos are coming out, probably within the next 24 hours, so you can look out for them. Um, I try to give you guys that much of an advanced warning. Um, when that's going to happen. So again, thanks for coming out and checking you, hollering at your boy. 
and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.